In the previous lecture we completed the second problem and now we will solve the third problem and here we need to calculate the diversity factor and the annual load factor of a given power station and this power station supplies the following loads to various consumers. The first one is industrial consumer with 1500 kilowatt as the individual maximum demand. The second one is commercial establishment with 750 kilowatt as the individual maximum demand. The third one is the domestic power with 100 kilowatt and the fourth one is the domestic light with 450 kilowatt. So these are these are the individual maximum demands. If the maximum demand on the station is 2500 kilowatt, this means P max is equal to 2500 kilowatt. This is given in the problem and the number of kilowatt hour. I will explain what is kilowatt hour number of kilowatt hour generated per year is 45 into 10 raised to power 5 and we have to determine the diversity factor and the annual load factor i will start with diversity factor p max is equal to 2500 kilowatt the maximum power and we already know diversity factor the diversity factor is equal to sum of sum of individual maximum demands over over p max this is the formula for the diversity factor and here we can easily calculate the sum of individual maximum demands 1500 plus 750 plus 100 plus 450 and it will be equal to 2800 kilowatt over p max is 2500 kilowatt 2500 when you solve it you will get 1.12 as the value of diversity factor and we already know diversity factor is always greater than 1 and in this case also it is greater than 1 so we are done with the first part of the problem and now we will solve the second part in which we will calculate the annual load factor the load factor is nothing but PLF the plant load factor we have already calculated monthly plant load factor and now we will calculate the annual plant load factor. This means we will calculate load factor for one year and in the problem the number of kilowatt hour generated per year is given it is 45 into 10 raised to power 5. We will first try to understand what is kilowatt hour and then we will calculate PLF. If you remember the average power the average power it was given by area under the load curve area under the load curve over total time total time area under the load curve is having the unit kilowatt hour and total time is having the unit hour so kilowatt hour is nothing but the area under the load curve or the energy produced this is the actual energy produced during this particular time so here kilowatt hour generated per year means the energy generated per year is given as 45 into 10 raised to power 5 kilowatt hour so we can easily have the average power because we know energy produced which is equal to 45 into 10 raised to power 5 kilowatt hour and the total time is 8760 hour because we are having one complete year and in one year we have 365 days and 365 multiplied with 24 is equal to 8760 hour so from here you can easily calculate the average power and the load factor the load factor plf is equal to average power over the maximum power maximum power is 2500 kilowatt average power you can calculate from here 
it is equal to 513.7 kilowatt so this is the average power and the plf is equal to 513.7 kilowatt over 2500 kilowatt when you solve it you will get 0.205 so percentage plant load factor is equal to 20.5 percent so this is the answer of the second part and this is the answer of the first part in this way you have to calculate the diversity factor and the annual load factor for a given power station in 365 days so this is all see you in the next one